Hi guys, so um, the last video I showed you how to make bagels and they came out very nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I bought this smoked white fish and I wanna see how it is. It's the first time I've made it myself, but we were recently in Miami and we got bagels there and oh my gosh, it had white fish, it had all these accoutrements, it had sprouts and these are called uh, micro broccoli sprouts. It had thinly sliced baby cucumbers and red onion. So I've got that all sliced up. So while I make it, I'm gonna go ahead and toast this. toaster and I'll just clean all the crumbs off okay so I'm not I read a couple recipes and it said to mix it with mayonnaise but I was thinking that could maybe take it away all the delicious flavor so we're kind of gonna experiment together if I can get it open. I don't know what I do without kitchen shears because uh, if I had a knife this could be dangerous but it is kind of hard to get open here guys. Let's see. Go at another angle. Okay so we got it open. And this looks really, really good. Look at that, such quality. So there's the skin off. So I'll put, I'll mix some with mayo's, not mayo, not too much because I don't want to really, I kind of like it, the flavor to be by itself. And I also have fresh dill. So, let me get a fork out, and I also have some mayo, so what I'm going to do is mash this up, not too much, kind of chunky, and I have some lemon here, I'm going to put just a little lemon, but not too much, because I don't want to change, take away from the smoked fish flavor, and I'll get some of the mayo, a nice dollop, dollop, and we can also put in a little fresh dill. I've already washed this just a little bit. They had all this at the ones in Miami and they were so good. So that's probably set, and now let's get our bagel out. Our homemade bagels, yummy. So we're gonna put this on one side, pile it up, be generous. And now let's see what order should we do. Maybe the red onions first, and then we need these to stay on, so the cucumbers next. And then we've got um, alfalfa sprouts. We'll put some of that on. And we've got these pretty micro broccoli sprouts. This is the first time I've ever bought them. So that could be for one person, and what we could do to make it easier to eat is oh, cut it in half. And this one, I'll save for later, and I'll try it without the mayo and see how it goes. Okay, guys, so enjoy. Until next time, be well.